Today we're checking out this 1968 Limelight Green Metallic Ford Mustang. The engine compartment on this Mustang just looks fantastic. It's got the uh, motorsport dress up kit on the uh, valve covers and air breather. Does come equipped with power steering. Stock manifolds and dual exhaust. Aldebrock intake and a Holley Performance 4 barrel. It does have drum brakes on it with the Magna 500 rims. As we look at the bottom side of the hood, it's all painted body color, done very nicely. It does have the deluxe hood with the turn signals in the hood and they are in working condition. As far as the paint goes on the car, I mean it's an older paint job, it still looks very nice. Beautiful driver quality condition. Um, it shows its age in a few little spots and we'll point that out, but a very straight and solid car and a solid undercarriage. If we look right here, we have a little paint crack on the just the uh, front of this hood. Other than that, the hood looks really nice. We got two little paint chips right here in the top of the hood. And that's all I see on the hood. The hood looks great. Front bumper looks brand new. The uh, grill, the horse and corral, all looks original. That shows a little wear, but very presentable. Front balance looks nice. Again, out in the sun, this uh, lime light gold metallic looks awesome. Just a very, very nice looking car does have the wheel well trim and rocker molding. That all looks brand new as well. Very nice shape. Emblems are nice. No bubbles or blisters anywhere in the lower fender. We do have some paint chips that have been touched up many years ago right along this door edge here. Looks like uh, they've realigned it since, so the alignment's really nice, but I'm guessing after they had it painted, they opened the door and chipped it up a little bit. It's got the dual chrome mirrors and the mirrors are in great shape. They look nice as well. As we look out over the roof, there's no hail damage or dings, anything like that. That looks nice and clean. Dual exhaust is newer and that sounds great. Also we have a brand new back bumper on it. It's got all new tail light lens chrome pieces, the lenses look excellent, the chrome around them is great, chrome around the uh, back trunk lid and back uh, quarter extensions, there's a couple tiny little scuffs in this one here but the chrome was all replaced during restoration, so was the, uh, the rear uh, tail light, uh, parking lights here and uh, they've got new seals around them as well, so rear balance paint is excellent, the whole back end of the car looks really nice. Lower rear quarters in excellent shape. We do have the smallest little ding right, right here by my finger. I don't know if you can quite see it. It does have a little ding there, but no bubbles or blisters anywhere. Nice solid quarter panel. Over the wheel lip is excellent. In front of the wheel looks nice. Bottom of the door all looks good. Really nice paint on the passenger side. Besides that little ding that's in those little touch-ups that I pointed out, um, that's the only thing I've seen. Now the quarter windows on both sides do have some pitting on the quarter window chrome right here. Other than that, looks like the windows seal up really nice along the roof rail molding. So that all seals up nicely. We open up the door. Our door rubbers are very nice and pliable. They're in great shape. The door jam paint is just as nice as the outside of the car. Um, you can look here, there's absolutely no rust, nor there has been any rust on these corners. Bottom of the doors look good. Uh, door panels and the uh, armrests are all in excellent shape. They've been reupholstered or they're new. Um, dash pad is new. The dash pad on the uh, <clears throat> dash itself here is new. All new uh, bezels it looks like. The uh, black bezels all look be in excellent condition. It's got a Kenwood CD player. That's new. It's got a new bezel around that. All the uh, green paint on the inside of the car, like the top of the door panels, door jams, and the dash, steering wheel, 
glove box door, all that stuff was repainted and they did a really nice job on that. Um, as far as the seat covers, they're very firm, both of them. So you've had all new paddings, I'm guessing maybe springs as well. So I mean, if you look at these seat covers, they're very, very firm. They've all been redone. It's got the new side moldings on there too. Seat backs are new, carpet's new. It's got seat belts in the front. I do not see any seat belts in the rear, just the front. It's got Pioneer, CD, Pioneer speakers, six by nines in the back. Dome light works. It's got black carpet and it has kind of a uh, kind of a, a tannish headliner in it. Back seat is excellent. That was reupholstered as well. We have uh, new rubbers here. Rubbers on the up and down window channels are new. Roof rail rubbers were new during restoration. I don't know exactly when the uh, paint and body and interior is restored. I'm guessing probably within the last 10 years for sure. Maybe three to five, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, still looks great. As we go around to the trunk lid, the trunk lid fits great over here on the passenger, or passenger side. Driver side has a nice gap as well. A little bit tighter on the uh, driver side than the passenger side, but it's nice and even from front to back. As I mentioned before, all the chrome along the back here is excellent. Paint on the trunk lid is nice. Paint on the back uh, window area is all in great shape as well. Same thing over in this quarter area here. The paint's nice. Does not need to be buffed or anything like that. Rear quarter is excellent. Lower quarter in front of the wheel. There's no bubbles or blisters anywhere in the quarter panel. Tires are in okay shape. They're not brand new, but they seem like they have plenty of tread on them. They're a, a real decent set of Magna 500s. We do have just a, a little, yeah, it's not even, I'm not even gonna call it a scuff. I take my fingernail, I'll take it right off. So just a little, little something here. It just needs to be, put a little wax on it, it'll come right off. It's a little scuff. We got a little paint chip right here. Other than that, here's our uh, door gap. Really decent gap. Lines up real well here. Looks like we got a little mark of some sort, maybe a little scratch right there. That's just a little buffing compound here. It'll come right off. Um, no bubbles or blisters. Rocker molding, wheel well molding is all new. We have a little paint chip here that's down to metal, so it's got a little surface rust is all, just where that paint chip was. No bubbles or blisters anywhere in the lower part of this car. So very, very solid. We also have one little chip here on the body line that's been touched up. So just a handful, you know, half a dozen little paint chips, stuff like that. Overall, really nice looking Mustang. Under the hood's nice. Inside the trunk is great. We do have a spare tire in the trunk. It has a uh, jack and everything too. The window rolls up and down awesome. The rubbers are all new just like on the uh, passenger side. Door jam paint's nice. Uh, body is 65A. Color is uh, high. Uh, trim is 2G. Date is 7C. DSO is 22. Axle is 2 and trans is W. Corner of the door is excellent. If you're looking for a real nice solid uh, Mustang, this is a really good one. It's got a uh, new wood grain steering wheel in it with the Mustang horn ring. Sorry, Mustang horn cap. Looks like this window crank here needs to be tightened up just a little bit. The crank is fine, just the knobs getting a little loose on it. Other than that, the uh, door panel and armrest, they were replaced during restoration. They're like new. Seat covers are excellent. There's no rips or tears, nothing like that. Like I mentioned before, when you sit in it, it's just got a really firm, firm cushion. So when they did the seats, they definitely did them right. All new bezels, all the black, everything is excellent shape. Heater fan works. Wipers are two speed and they, they work great and the blades are nice. The horn does not work. Temperature gauge works, gas gauge works. I just went ahead and put seven gallon in it and took it to half. It's probably got about a 16 gallon tank, I'm guessing. Uh, alternator gauge works, oil pressure gauge, we're right over in the middle. Um, that works well too. 
So all the gauges work, heater works, wipers work. It's got a nice Kenwood CD player sound system. Decker Sports, save now. If it's the antenna's hooked up and works well. And again, like I mentioned, the paint on the dash is gorgeous. You can just tell the quality of that around the radio and stuff like that. It's just not all scratched up. It was done right. Kick panels here were replaced brand new as well. Transmission, um, that chrome bezel and that stuff is all new as well. Carpet was new. Just really nice. You, you put it in gear, it's not uh, transmission mounts and stuff were all good. The idle was good. It doesn't jump and, and bang going into drive. Turn signals on the deluxe hood both work on both sides. Rear view mirror is new. And the uh, headliner is excellent and so are the visors. They're all new and they clip in there like they're supposed to. As far as our uh, front suspension goes, front suspension feels good. Does not need alignment. Speedometer works well, doesn't bounce around. As far as our drum brakes, no pull left or right. Transmission ship's awesome right there. Here's our brakes, yeah. No hands on the wheel, no pull whatsoever. And it does have a nice full pedal. So no power brakes, no disc brakes, but the brakes are excellent and they stop nice. Would not worry about them. Again, uh, while we're waiting here for a car, we will uh, show you the, the condition and stuff of the bezels, the chrome bezels around the gauges and stuff are nice and clear. Go through the gears manually here. I'm gonna show you what it's got. Transmission just nice and smooth. Sixty-five mile an hour, straight down the road. down the road real nice. Four barrel kicks in like it should. Here's your brakes at high speeds. No, absolutely no pull. Most of these drum brakes usually pull one way or another. Um, so the brakes are excellent on it.